Hi everyone, Ricky from Rev Consultants here. This is just a quick how-to video on calculating your overheads. So let's take a look. Right, so I've created a simple Excel spreadsheet that here that if you're handy with Excel is very easy to replicate. And on the left-hand side here, I've just listed all of, all of my overhead expenses um, per, per year. Now overheads really need to be thought of as any cost or expense to your business that isn't recovered via your pricing. So the things that are directly covered via your pricing are, are your things like your labor plant materials, for example. The examples I've got here of the overheads that aren't directly recovered via my pricing is things like insurance, office rental, accreditations, membership, your office manager, so any staff that isn't directly related to a project and you're not recovering via pricing. Company vehicle costs, tendering costs, accounting fees, marketing, training, education, etc. It's important that you calculate these for your company as it's different for every company, even if you're in the same industry. Now, when you take your total yearly overhead costs, in this example, I've got 75K, and you divide it by your predicted yearly turnover, which I've got 1.5 million here, it's gonna give you a percentage. In this, in this example, this percentage is 5%. And what does that mean? It means that if I hit my predicted yearly turnover of 1.5 million, then 5% of my turnover is required to cover my overhead costs. Now, it's in, if your turnover is 1 million or lower, you can see that this has an, an impact on your overhead percentage. Now, we work with companies that have overhead percentage of 20 and 25%. So when it's starting to get higher like that, it's quite important that you know what it is so that you're not eating into profit. And also, of course, so that you're not underpricing. So important that you calculate this, I would say at least on a quarterly basis, particularly as your turnover changes and also your expenses changes. For example, you're putting on extra staff. Calculate this regularly and, and play with this number to, ma to make sure that you're ensuring the profit margin that you want. All right, lastly, uh, a, good check, a good check to do when it comes time to your estimate is check the pound value of your overheads. So, so that would be by times in the total tender value by that percentage that you've just worked out to work it out in pounds. Uh, once you've got the pound value, you can really compare if you're adding enough onto your tender by your OHMP percentage um, and how much is left for profit for yourself. 